Growing up in Santa Ana, I was always told the riverbed is a dangerous place. Before the early 90s, the Santa Ana riverbed was more picturesque with natural vegetation and lots of wildlife. It was not the barren concrete-filled coffin that it is today. However, despite the more serene setting, the Santa Ana riverbed holds a dark past that gave my parents more than enough reason to be concerned. In June of 1987, nine-year-old Patricia Lopez, a Santa Ana resident, did not come home from school one day. Her mother immediately called the police when Patricia did not meet her after school as usual. The police conducted an extensive search for the missing nine-year-old Patricia, but unfortunately, her lifeless body was discovered by children playing inside of a dark storm drain tunnel on the Santa Ana riverbed two days after she went missing. It was unclear then who could have done this to Patricia. She was found bludgeoned to death, and it was painfully clear that the final blow consisted of her head being placed on a rock and was then smashed from above by an even larger and heavier stone. No major leads could be made after countless hours of investigation, and the case remained unsolved. However, in 2007, DNA evidence was used to determine a potential suspect. The evidence came from underneath Patricia's fingernails, indicating that there was indeed a struggle. This evidence also points towards the notion that Patricia knew her killer. The DNA collected from under Patricia's fingernails matched the DNA profile of her older brother, Rosendo Lopez. In 1987, Rosendo was 21 and not considered a suspect. In fact, on the day that her body was found, he was quoted as saying that he and his brothers would find the sick guy and hang him high from a tree. Rosendo was arrested in 2007 and charged with the cold case slaying of nine-year-old Patricia. However, in 2010, Rosendo died of natural causes while in custody just days before he was to stand trial. The murder of Patricia Lopez remains unsolved. This is the location where Patricia's body was found. Due to lack of safety, this is as close as I can get, and believe me, being down in the Santa Ana River bed alone, or even with a friend or two, is always risky. Patricia's story is just one of many that haunt the Santa Ana Riverbed. If you would like to hear more, follow along Macabre SoCal by subscribing and sharing the videos. Thanks for watching.